Hello everyone! I hope you're good and and that's it. <laughs> no, I hope you're good and um, that you're very happy. And thank you guys. We are like 91 subscribers, so thank you for this uh, effort you make to click on that. Thanks. No, no, really. Like, I'm quite uh, enthusiast today because we're gonna go through the tomb of to, for another mastaba of Ka. It's like the second mastaba we are doing of Ka. Ka, the last king of the first dynasty, he built these two mastabas in Saqqara and one t tomb in Abydos. Like, tell me what of this make any sense. But anyway, this is what we got. And um, this is the, 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 the mastaba we're going to go through today. Is the number 3505. And it's the biggest mastaba in the Saqqara necropolis of the north. And it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a mastaba which, with unprecedented features. For example, this mastaba has a funerary temple inside of, inside of the mastaba. It's inside. It's, it's, it's part of the whole thing. So it's like... And I can't wait to show you the, what I've got. So, yeah, if you like the video, like the video. If you like to subscribe, please do, because like we can shoot to the stars. And, uh, yeah. Cool. And here we are. And so, where to start? Uh, as we know, Ka, last king of the first dynasty, around 29 BC, is like, is, you know, it's one of the last. It, it's uh, it's it's one of the last to build. It's not actually one of the last. Uh, to build in the Saqqara necropolis, uh, it's actually one of the first. Uh, but uh, but anyway, and um, uh, what's special about this uh, specific mastaba? First of all, this is the mastaba here. Is what I found in Google Earth. It's the biggest of the of the north of the north necropolis of Saqqara, and it's like 20 meters from the edge of the, you know, there is a cliff, you know, it's built on top and then there is a cliff and the, and the capital Memphis was down down there. And this is like 20 meters from the edge, as far as I understood. And it was plundered by robbers many times and it took fire many times, uh, or at least once. And it had a subsidiary grave inside of the Mastaba. This is crazy. And it was, we know, Actually, we know the name of this person of, uh, that was there. The, the name was Marka, because we found a stele, a stone stele. I'm gonna show you. And then uh, we got a funerary temple here. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's let's start. Um, Walter Emily believed that this was actually the burial tomb of Ka, because first it's the biggest that he has done. Uh, but what are Emily again? Like this whole topic was this the tomb? Was not this the tomb? We still don't have the answers. I mean, we have the answer. Archaeologist says that they're all in Abydos, but uh, yeah, I can I can see an argument for that. I can see many arguments for that. It's, it's okay. But yeah, it's still like a, for me, it's still like a sort of a question mark. This is the stone stele that I found uh, laid down uh, just across. The subsidiary grave of Merca, and yeah, and this still says like this belongs to Merca, something like that. I don't, know, I don't like my hieroglyph skills are <laughs> they need to be refreshed. And all the pictures that are, and all the drawings we I'm gonna show you are from the book of uh, Walter Emily directly, so it's like uh, all original stuff. Uh, what this is crazy? They found um, the first wooden sarcophagus in the burial chamber of this mastab. Uh, nothing is left. It's like these small traces in the in, in the floor that you see. It's like it's all messed up and nothing is really... But they just found this and they, they are... They, they, Walter Emily was able to def, def, like detect this as a potential sarcophagus. And that would have been like three meters by 2.6, so it's like a big, it's a big sarcophagus. And uh, but th this could be the first sarcophagus we ever found, uh, like the oldest, you know. It could be, like guys, don't take me literally. But <laughs> and um, 
So yeah, when when Walter Emily came, the the tomb was already excavated by uh, August Mariette and um, partially, partially. So not the whole thing. And um, so then we have what? Yeah. And here, this, for example, that Walter Emily have found is a um, is a is a piece like you you can see now. Nah? There are two feet, you know of a wooden statue that was inside of the funerary temple in the main room of the funerary temple and this could be the first you know wooden wooden statue original from the actual burial place that we ever found uh, as far as i remember from 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 the tombs that we uncovered this is like the first statue <laughs> you know and yeah this is what we got we don't know what this is but yeah um, and then, um, yeah, so this is like the picture from Walter Emery directly of the Mastaba. You know, it's, it was all, it was covered by sand and then he excavated and then this is what uh, would have uh, uh, show up. You can see here the step pyramid the, 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 at the background. And, you know, when all the mastabas that we uncover here, they're so old and it was already robbed back then in the times that what's left is really like, uh, you know, it's really what we have. So, and uh, it's just a shame that they are in the condition that they are, but we can still detect a lot of stuff. So, for example, uh, for example, i show you. So this is what, this is like the funerary temple what's left of it and you can see here there is like a stone pavement like floor you know yes not all of the funerary not all the mastaba was not paved with stone but the funerary temple part of this the funerary temple it was uh, with the stone floor now you're gonna ah, it's not a big thing it is a big thing because back in the times they the only one that i remember we uncovered which had a stone floor was like the den tomb in abydos so you know uh, this is really the beginning of stone building uh, in the world you know. so and uh, it's, uh, to me it's crazy that they're using it for for floor and um, because everything is in madrid here right not everything but i show you later um so let's go a little bit yeah you can see here right this is the stone floor and uh, it also is like it it's tiled in a way you know so it's not like these big stones that we find like in pyramids and stuff no it's it has a geometry it has a what is called a stereotomy like uh, a matrix and um, and yeah and and these ones are the remains of the reeds that were finishing the interior of the of part of the funerary temple so part of the funerary temple was uh, in plastered in like uh, painted in yellow and also painted in white and some of it was uh, it had these reed finishes which is not the first time we found we found also in Abydos there were tombs with, with, the, with this finish interiorly uh, but then the crazy thing is I'm gonna tell you later so these are like the you can, uh, this picture shows you the holes in the ground of the, let's say, the up. So, so, so what? So these holes are in between the ground level, and you see here, and the funerary and the burial chamber down, uh, down there. So these are in between. So we, we, you know, we expect these holes to be where the beams were to cover the burial chamber, and it's actually pretty pretty much of a good argument technically for those to be uh, the beams uh, so here it is one of the craziest things is that here you have the first like uh, how do you say fresco yeah it's the first like fresco that I found of ancient Egypt this is a fresco down in the outer walls of the of the mastaba itself because wh one thing i'm going to show you later is that this mastaba there is one enclosure wall and then there is w the mastaba itself which contain both the temple and the burial chamber down in the substructure and this is the wall i guess it's like the east wall if i'm not wrong 
and, uh, and you know, you can see here the decoration. And this decoration, this picture is black and white, but these were the original colors. So it's crazy because the outside of the Mastaba was, was uh, pa white painted. Then the inside will be this crazy colorful thing. I mean, it's uh, these guys were artists, you know. Uh, and so, so you can see here, this is like the enclosure wall, and then the mastaba is inside here. Um, so this, you know, the, this enclosure wall will be tilted like this and white painted. Um, and this is the wall. That I was to, that I was talking to you, that I was telling you. So this is like the, I guess it's like again, it's like the east part, and you can see the palace facade that we always see in the mastabas. Normally we see, and whether in the other in the other mastaba, the same pharaoh, he was like plain. He was not like palace facade anything. It was just super plain. And in this one he made like this palace facade. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the mysteries. Um, oh, and this you can see from this picture. This is a so down there is the you know the burial chamber, and you can see here the ramp goes down. And the the, the cool thing about this is that it, it's the first time that like a ramp. There is a there is a ramp which goes down, but then the ramp has a leg, so it turns. And it's the first time we see something like this. I'm gonna show you later in the, in the drawings. And there was a portcullis stone, but uh, it's not here anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, so this is like the section, and you can see, right? This is um, the, out, the enclosure wall here, and then you can see the, the actual mastaba itself in brick. And then between the, the brick and the bedrock they will they will build like this stone wall here like a retaining wall and the inside of it will be like with you know sand to cover everything and he will here will be the debris and uh, yeah I think you know you can see the portcullis here as we already saw before already and yeah so you know when we speak about pyramids and substructures here you have it. This is the beginning. And um, yeah, like in essential, like in essence, is a pretty simple mastaba, but it's the biggest. And uh, but it has this funerary temple here, which looks like a labyrinth, and it's so cool. Like uh, first of all, it's like I don't think it's the first time, maybe it's the second time that we find like a like an entrance to the east part of the of the structure and uh, you can see you will enter uh, and then you will see like a corridor so, and then you will enter another gate you went actually the gateway and you will have a room like a small room and from that room you will narrow corridors one to the left and one to the right and it's like where do I go and like if you go to the left and and if you go to the right there are consequences so it's like it's a labyrinth and but it's such a drawing, you know. It's, look, it's so organic, it's so organic. But anyway, let's. So so you can see from here, like the mastaba itself, it's here to the left. It's just this part, but then the whole structure, it's uh, con the mastaba is contained in, in inside another mastaba, which is contained inside an enclosure wall. So it's like it's complex stuff. It's like it's simply, it's simple in the in the way it's built but it's a complex architectural feature in terms of space and then you have like this big room uh, where where they found the feet of the statue and you see you can see right the burial chamber is this one here with dash lines it will be the entrance here now it worked it was covered so it was not like uh, um, meant to be accessible so you have this leg down leading ramp and uh, and then you have the two mag what Emery calls the magazines or like the storage where they put like objects and stuff and then you have this burial chamber here uh, Walter Emery says that the burial chamber itself should have had like 
columns or pillars, but there is no evidence. But uh, structurally, given the thickness of the beams, uh, like a column was, were, were need, was needed, but we don't know. So this is the plan. Now the burial chamber in itself, let me go back a little bit. The burial chamber in itself was estimated to have been 5.75 meters down uh, below the ground level. So it's you know it's not <laughs> it's 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 work <laughs> it's work and um, the funerary temple here is about 600 square meters so it's a big thing it's like 40 meters by 20 something like that and uh, what do we got I think I told you more or less everything about uh, the the structure itself now. What what you can tell here from the plan is like the orientation is also similar to the ones that we uncovered before. It's like this north westish kind of orientation, and then you can see the difference between this is the palace facade to the north, east, and south, and then to the west they did this more simple uh, kind of rhythm. When we find things like this, is because they didn't have. We, we, we think that they didn't have much time to finish the, the whole thing and so they just did it in a more simple way um, but it, like look at this plan it's like this plan is magical it's it's a magic box and uh, no wonder it was a was a was a tomb of a pharaoh but yeah uh, yeah so this was it and I think like uh, next week we're gonna uncover the Mastab of Dan. Now the Mastab of Dan, again, Dan already had a burial chamber in Abydos, so it's like, why building another burial chamber? Again, same argument comes uh, over and over. And uh, my answer to this question is, they needed to provide uh, a structure in both places to remember to those people living in those places from both the north and the south of Egypt, I am here with you. And I rule here, you know, and uh, the, the Pharaoh is present here. You know, but uh, yeah, this is my kind of theory. Um, but yeah, so this was it, and I guess I see you next week with them. And uh, guys, I can't wait to do the the step pyramid, uh, but we're gonna wait one at least one more month, month and a half, yeah, to do this. So I oh, hope. Uh, if you like the video, like the video. If you like to subscribe, please do because uh, you are a legend.